Hello, I'm in Oahu, Hawaii right now, North Shore, which what, I did not expect this at all. I'm a very calculatedly planned person in my life. Did not think I would be starting my new year over here at an Airbnb that I just so happened to rent after something happened to me earlier this year where I needed to skirt on over here and not look back for a little bit. Here's what I wanna say though. This is going to be a very different thing for me. I'm going to be making a series here all about healing myself from the inside and out. And I'm gonna be showing the good, the bad, and everything in between, and that terrifies me because I don't like doing that. I like to show when I'm doing well and this is a very vulnerable thing for me to do because I know it's important to show everything. Life is not perfect. No one's is. There's going to be moments you don't find fair. There's going to be disappointment. There's going to be sadness and grief and all of those emotions that are out there that we're all going to experience. I'm experiencing my first heartbreak right now and that's all I want to chalk it up to because like I've kind of mentioned that relationship to me was something that was kept offline with intention and I plan to keep any of the detail of not being in that relationship offline as well. I have nothing bad to say about the situation. I'm not going to be saying anything bad about the situation. This series is going to be about me and what I can do to heal myself because there's been a lot of parts of me that have not been very good. I got really scarred from showing myself in every aspect when I was younger online. I showed myself literally having like mental breakdowns, being like crazy in my humor, and it just got overwhelming because then people started to judge, and then I got insecure, and then I only started showing the good. I've just kind of been all over the place, and what I'm realizing is I'm 20 years old, I'm an adult, I have to better myself and not just sit here and act like my life is perfect because no one really cares to see that. And I know I wouldn't care to see that. My life is not perfect. I deal with a lot of stuff behind closed doors, a lot of mental health stuff, a lot of stuff with myself, a lot of insecurity, a lot of being hyperly critical and fixated on my appearance, on how I talk, how I act, everything I do. That's a lot of stuff I've always had in my life that I've not chose to bring online. It is important to me at this point in my life to help show that you can get through this because a lot of us feel similar emotions that I'm going through right now. And I want this to resonate with even one of you and help one of you and be like an older sister to literally one of you. There's so many people that I would not want to see this because it's me being vulnerable, which is terrifying, but I'm going to be brave and I'm going to step out of my comfort zone and do this and hope that it hits the right people because that is my intent. And I think if you do things with pure intention, then good comes back to you. Things happen for me, not to me. That's what I'm learning. I have a lot of really great Pinterest quotes that have been helping me kind of first grieve the loss of a person in my life. That's number one step right there. Regardless of what happened and regardless of anything, when you care and love about someone and then they're no longer in your life, you have to let yourself feel that and grieve that. And that's kind of what I've been doing and I'm doing a lot of that behind closed doors and kind of doing that by myself. But that was like kind of the step one. And then now I'm at a place where acceptance and looking towards the future, looking that there is pot at the end of the rainbow. Is that what it goes like? <laughs> So I hope maybe this made sense to you as to why I'm sitting here in Hawaii right now. I have this place and it's actually a walking distance from my best friend's place. We all know and love Hannah. She has her place over here. I actually found this Airbnb and this is a cool little story I'll end this with right now. I found this Airbnb and it was extremely expensive and I was like, no, I can't justify doing that. I just I, I can't. I was so vulnerable, more than I've ever been in my life. And I messaged the lady that owns this place. And I said to her what was going on. I don't even know why. I just started venting to this random Airbnb lady. She writes back and was like, I want you to heal yourself on the island and I am going to be giving you this for 50% off. And I literally just started bawling my eyes out because how could someone be so kind and just want to help some random girl who's like writing to her literal airbnb host like she's a therapist i don't know i was not doing well it just felt meant to be and so that's why i'm here right now there's not really a set plan i just want to really focus on myself aaron is here with me this week hannah will be with me after that and i'm just going to pull up the camera when i'm feeling it good bad and all and really tackle some of this and hopefully help some of you we're gonna have a lot to talk about but i as you saw my little morning routine that has been so crucial to starting my days good because i just find that having a good morning routine literally prioritizing myself is so helpful as you saw i did some 
skincare. I made my little coffee. I'm focusing on taking care of my body. That's something that's really not as much talked about when going through a breakup. But anyways, I'm out here now with all of my journals here. Let me show you guys. I got them all. I got my journal where I just talk about all of my lovely feelings. I have my self-discovery one, which I want to talk about that in detail coming up. So I'm just going to pass on that. But this is really important. I talk about that later. I have my 2020 planner here, which always helps a girl out. And then I got my You Got This little coloring book. I sat at the beach all last week and just colored in this. And I'll show you that later too. And I'm reading this book from a very good friend of mine. It's so weird how random people come into your life when you need them most and just give you such peace of mind. My dear friend Maddie came in when I needed her this month and has been literally giving me the best advice and just listening and it's just so cool. And so I actually started this and I'm going to make it a goal to finish this by the end of the week. I have my therapy headphones. I think putting my attachment into physical object and having something that I can always feel near me has been really helpful. That's basically where we're at. I hope this made sense and I hope that you're ready to figure my shit out together. <laughs> I am going to text my little neighbor girl Hannah and she's gonna show Aaron and I kind of a fun little place to walk because we love doing our walk. She's gonna show us some coffee shops. We're just gonna kind of get acclimated and I'm gonna pull up the camera whenever I'm feeling it this week. There's not really a plan. I hope that's okay. That was my long little spiel, spiel, what the, I don't know what I'm saying. That's about it. Let's go see what Aaron's doing. My little bestie girl. <laughs> Say hey girl. Okay, I just went off about what we're doing over here, so now people are caught up. And I'm sad, Erin's only here until Friday, so we gotta make the most of this. She's been my little therapy bestie recently. Basically, everything Ellie is experiencing right now, I experienced it in kind of a different way two months ago. <laughs> the fact that both of us are over here, ending the year the same way, is kind of comical. But what I was telling her, or what I've been telling her is, if I didn't have all this growth, I wouldn't know what I want to do now. I feel like yeah. I've learned and grown a lot. Yeah, and that's kind of like it, shit together. It is funny that we're both these like in our 20s, best friends, sisters, everything, and our family's just like, are you guys good? <laughs> we're just like going through the no, motions we, together, but it's also yeah. really special that way because it like helps. Anyways, that's our little whatever. Hannah's gonna come yeah. get us. We're gonna go walk and put the camera away for a little bit. Let's have a good week. Yeah, let's go get some coffee. All right, let's do it. So we just got back from a literal three mile walk with Hannah. I didn't bring my camera, but we got honestly a very interesting combination here, but it's actually hitting so hard. We have turkey, mustard that I'm literally squirting on it, pickles, and then these like fire jalapeno crackers. And we're gonna go get in our Jeep, which I can show you guys, and go to the beach and get a coconut water and go see the Hunger Games tree because Aaron really wants to see that. I'm so excited. Hello everyone, welcome to our car of the week. We literally pull up at this like military base because we got it on Turo and he was so nice and we're just like whipping in his Jeep. Yeah. The bad thing with the car is every time we get in it, the alarm starts aggressively going off and he told us that happens and he doesn't know why, which is a little concerning because it makes a spectacle of us every time we get in and out of the car. It just screams tourist. It screams tourist. But we are at the fruit stand that Hannah and I went to and we're gonna go and get some fresh fruit, get some coconuts and then head on over to the Hunger Games beach. She's excited. Feelings, <laughs> my only hope. I look for the things I don't know. For all in this, I stand. Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know we're all in there. Hello everyone, we have finished a photo shoot and it was so peaceful, it was the most beautiful sunset I've ever seen here. It just felt so meant to be in that moment. We were both just like running around in the water and it was just honestly so special. I just wanted to say though, I feel like emotions and kind of like even just being here come in waves. I feel like today has been a really good day for me and just like in my process of doing well. <laughs> we had amazing energy today. Everything worked out for us. Everything just yeah. feels kind of like it's falling into place right now and I feel like it's very normal to have up and downs but I feel like these past couple days have been really consistently good and I feel I'm feeling as good as you can I guess for 
coming impulsively over to Hawaii and learning about yourself. So I don't know, I just wanted to say that, that it is totally normal to have it kind of come in waves and I just feel very blessed that today was such a good day and I wanted to document that because it's the little wins. To get back the life I used to know